Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome here to the live update on Bitcoin, we are live right now on Twitch. So if you're watching from a YouTube, the replay, then make sure the next time you're also joining the Twitch live stream, so you can also comment here during the live stream. Uh, you find the link down below here in the video description for the Twitch channel. All right, so first of all, congratulations to all Bitcoin holders and all who traded the breakout. I was a bit late to the party. Uh, I just uh, had one order that got executed and uh, yeah, I just came back home now and I uh, wanted to have this quick update here. So shout out to everyone that is watching right now live. Uh, nice to see you back in the live stream, Bento Bento, shout out to you. I hope you took a nice long trade over on Bybit, Femex or BTR, wherever you're trading. And even if you're not trading, then congratulations, your portfolio already raised up here a bit. So currently we had here this breakout from 12K that we were waiting for so long. And uh, even though it was expected, even though we are still very um, overbought even here in the daily I think even in the weekly let's go quickly again into the weekly yes as you can see here uh, this is still looking very bullish we still have a lot of room left to the upside uh, hello beer polka nice to see you here in the live stream um, yeah I mean of course it is bullish that we are breaking out there this is uh, no question uh, of course we also have a bit of uh, volume spiking in here so let's see uh, if we can take this uh, higher um, because so far uh, if we go into the lower time frames especially like the one hour or if you go into the minutes then you see that we already had here a little test of this new support at $12,100 and um, it also looks like that there could be a little pullback again towards 12k to retest and then have another leg up because because we had now this big breakout. I think it's almost guaranteed that we will go towards 13, 14 K. Let's go quickly back into the uh, daily time frame because also here you can see that this was our previous highs on the last run that we had from 3K up to 14 K. So here everything between 13 up here to 14,000 is the last resistance before we are coming into this critical zone here, just a little bit below 20K. Um, just the last step before creating new all-time highs. And that's why this region up here is very, very important. And uh, even though I think that we will still with this move break it and potentially top out somewhere here at around $16,000 before we're seeing a bigger correction to the downside towards 10K, um, there are signs that we could maybe even break through here, of course, but um, yeah, we have to see what will happen. I think here in the spot uh, in the spot chart, it's obvious that we will go towards 14,000 now, even though we are looking very overbought here and it it's almost screaming like a correction. But let's not forget why we pointed out here the $16,000 potential top here at least for the short term before we're gonna have here a, a retest of this 10k area and also close the CME gap down to $9,600. So before we are gonna uh, check why this target, uh, hello to everyone that is watching live, shout out to you Jim Devara, nice to see you here, good morning, here is good evening, uh, it's very late, I just came back home so um, I'm just seeing the price action right now. So currently, uh, although for me, what's going on right now is new, even though I saw this potential breakout, I took a trade, but uh, with my mobile phone, so only now I'm checking it on the computer. And also shout out to you as Wolfie, nice to see you back here in the live stream. I hope you did very nice gains with this uh, breakout. And uh, now let's have quickly a look here, why 16,000? Why I think that 16,000 most likely is to be reached here um, before we're gonna see a major correction. Even though there are two sides, the, this side from here, from the spot market, where I think we could reach $16,000, and there is the other chart, the CME chart, where there it doesn't look so good in my opinion. And if we look at the CME chart later on, we will have a quick look on the CME chart as well. 
there it looks like that we might are going to top out here around 13 to 14 K and then we're gonna see the big correction and then potentially bounce again and and then start to test the old all time high of 20 K and potentially also break it. Um, but let's first have a look here why 16 K. Uh, if you remember here in the weekly time frame, this is the weekly now. Um, once we bottomed here uh, in March, uh, we immediately came back up to those levels uh, before the crash. And here everyone was waiting for another dip down towards $7,500 to potentially create here an inverse head and shoulders pattern. So here we had our left shoulder, we had our head and we were waiting here for the right shoulder. So this is a very bullish uh, pattern uh, if we would have here this right shoulder. And in my opinion, this is kind of a shoulder here, but it's maybe not as it should be. Uh, let's say like, let's, let's assume this is a valid inverse head and shoulders pattern because it looks like that. And if we measure here um, the target, I mean, if we measure here the theoretical target of this bullish pattern, we have here a resistance exactly at around $10,000 up here. This was also when the breakout happened. Immediately when we broke out here to the upside, then we had here this continuation. And that's why I still think we are still not over with this uh, bull run that we are seeing right now. Um, so we just had here this breakout and currently we are at the beginning stages before a potential big blow off top towards $16,000. And um, uh, Jim Devara, you're, uh, you're waiting for Bitcoin to come back to $12,400. Uh, it's right now at $12,400 or do you think, uh, or did you mean $10,400? Um, anyway. If we measure here the target from the bottom that we had till our resistance, if we pull out here the, in theory, this would be the, the performance of the breakout, then this would take us straight up here towards $16,800. And this was also here in the past resistance. Once we topped out at 20K, we came down uh, to, we had a 50% drop. And then immediately this dip was bought back up towards here, um, the 0.786 Fib line here at $16,300. And that's why I think most likely we're also going to top out here and then have here a bigger correction to retest the uh, new support down here at around 9,200, close the CME gap, confirm it that this is now still support and then have the big uh, moonshot towards uh, 20K and higher. This is my target here for the spot market. I mean, in the spot chart, it looks really bullish. And I still think this target here is very likely to be uh, reached just only based on this uh, inverse, inverse head and shoulders pattern. I'm sorry for my English, but uh, right now I'm a bit tired. It's very late here. And um, yeah, this is my why I still think we are reaching 16K. And uh, we can now have a look uh, where is the problem. Here everything is looking really bullish uh, with this pattern. Of course, it doesn't have to perform uh, exactly to this target. It can also overshoot it or come very close to it and then uh, come back down. The only problem that I see currently is really just that we are really getting in very overbought condition like here in the weekly. I, I think it's just a matter of days or maybe one or two weeks before here I'm getting also a sell signal. Um, if we go into the daily, same thing also here, look at the RSI, very toppy. In the lower time frames, we don't go now because there, uh, anyway, we are probably now very, very overbought. Um, so we are very overbought in several time frames, even here in the weekly, look also here at the RSI. And that is what is making me a bit belief that we could see hopefully first now a bigger correction than when we are already testing 20K because then if we're crashing from 16 or 20K down to 10K, uh, I think this will be a, a very huge shakeout of weekends and this is probably gonna be a big waterfall. And I think if you've seen one day or a couple of days, 
uh, all the altcoins bleeding like 30 40 50 percent to the downside this is always not a nice picture and reminds very much of uh, 2018 and 2019 when we had the bear market but overall everything is looking still good i still think we can reach these targets and also if you look at some altcoins especially ethereum uh, even xrp had here today a bit of a pump a uh, light coin is pushing uh, car even cardano here in uh, compared to uh, us dollar compared to bitcoin not everyone is performing uh, pretty well uh, the weird thing is that currently band and link are just uh, standing around there today i told you that here on a link i had also look at this here it's it's getting in into extreme conditions here chain link and if we go into the daily here today i got a sell signal so uh, last time i got one we came back down to the 20 daily moving average which also now could happen that we're coming back down here towards 13 dollars uh, i don't say this was the top no one can predict the top i think chain link can go way way higher especially with this run that we had but just based on what i'm seeing right now um maybe if you plan to buy link this could be a good entry if we have this drop who knows I definitely would buy some if we're really gonna have this drop. I'm not shorting it, but if we're dropping down here, I will buy. And the the the, uh, the chain link that I have, I I will not sell just because of that. So I just keep holding um, for now. Uh, yes, I would prefer correction now. If later it's going to be panic sell, and yeah, I know, I know. That's why. Hopefully not, because that's why I'm telling you. If it's if it's going to 16k, and then we have a big correction, this is gonna hurt everyone uh, very much and there for sure you're gonna have some panic sellers which will bring the price even more down and this is where you have to be really strong and uh, that's why make sure that you have the big hodl portfolio somewhere stored in a cold uh, storage in a hardware wallet somewhere where you cannot touch it just leave it there forget about it don't forget your private keys and uh, in 2022 go and take it and see how much it is worth and if you want to trade a bit then just take a little bit of your portfolio like 10 to 20 percent maximum and trade it for example uh, on binance or bybit uh, or any other exchange depending if you want to scaling into some alts and then swap it over into bitcoin or you want to go uh, long or short with leverage trades uh, you can do many things uh, to multiply your portfolio with trading and remember all the links that you need especially for these exchanges like Bybit, Femex, BTR you find down below here in the video description also for Binance with my links you can get some rewards and you support the channel and of course make sure to subscribe uh, here on Twitch and also on the YouTube channel Alessandro the Crypto. Yes, we do daily TA videos and also don't forget the um, uh, the Bitcoin giveaway that we're doing every week. $10 worth of Bitcoin every week. Just subscribe to the channel, leave every day a like and uh, every Monday we're going to do the subscription video where you have to put in the comment section of the YouTube video your Bitcoin uh, address so you will be a part of our uh, giveaway. We're going to always select the winner at the end of the week. But now, before I forget, before I completely forget, uh, let's have a look into the CME chart and we can stay here in the daily time frame because so far with this breakout that we had here from this $12,000 uh, resistance here of course also here we had this potential ascending triangle but this red trend line I didn't change anything on it right now so this red line I, I have drawn it here in the CMEs because also before we had here this breakout to the upside it looked like that here we could potentially form this bearish a rising wedge and rising wedges usually tends to go like this and then break to the downside and go to the initial phase of the um, rising wedge the problem here is only that um, this green line here uh, in my opinion is not yet confirmed I mean this green line that you see here is an old uh, support that we created here once we broke out from 10k um, and this is also where we retraced back here when we started to consolidate here at around 12k this is where we we catched up support and we didn't uh, had any week below here and also you see the 20 daily moving average is perfectly lining up with this green line so 
that's why I think this green line could be important and this could be a bearish pattern here forming and maybe we still need some um, uh, time this to play out. I mean, we could stay in this range now for a couple of days, potentially till end of August. You see here, this area here is perfectly lining up with 31, 31st of August. Uh, so it is, there is a high chance that maybe we stay till the end of the month uh, here trading towards uh, 13k before we're going to see a breakout to the upside or downside. But these patterns usually break out to the downside. When we're in an uptrend, sometimes the momentum and the bull trend is so strong that even in bearish patterns, we break out to the upside and not to the downside. So as long as we don't have a breakout, we cannot say anything. And the other theory is that if we connect here the lows, uh, let's make it uh, here also on red so you can see it more clear is that we're forming this potential uh, upwards moving broadening uh, channel or wedge or call it how you want but this is also a bearish pattern so these broadening channels which are shifted to the upside like this they can stay for a long time like this i mean uh, we can even go up to 20k within this uh, channel it's still remaining a bearish uh, pattern which could break out to the downside and then we will retrace where we started down here at $10,500 and this is also a very uh, likely scenario that we are in this um, potential uh, pattern but only if we're starting to bounce up and down uh, between this support here where also right now the 20 daily is lining up here at 11,270 so all along here $11,500 and then have a breakout to the downside. So this is what we have to see uh, and what we get here in price action in the next couple of days. But as you can see here in the CMEs, because here we don't have any uh, weekend data, we have only Monday to Friday price action like we have in the traditional um, markets. The CMEs are not looking exactly same like the spot market. So the spot market is looking way more bullish than the CMEs. And of course, also here we had uh, this uh, potential um, head and shoulders pattern. And um, actually, we can also have a measurement here. If we're also getting here to the same target because also here we had $10,000 here we have a bit more $10,700 but this is because the premium of the CMEs um, all right so if we target here of course we also would come up here to $17,000 in the CMEs um, but as I told you if this pattern here is gonna play out this potential rising wedge in the CMEs here I can see it very clearly here Maybe, yeah, we have to wait and see. Maybe also here we have to then change the the, the pattern. It's the, we have to see. It's still too early to tell. But here in the CMEs, it was already clear, this trend line here, before uh, we had here this breakout. And we exactly came here to this uh, point of contact here, exactly up here to the red line. We didn't have a week or anything above. We came right there exactly there so currently i still think we will probably bounce up and down here and um, yeah this is what makes me a bit concerned and think about that maybe 16k will not be any more reach maybe 13,000 will be then the breakout to the downside to close this cme gap that we have at 9,600 dollar have the 10k area as a support confirm and then come back up um, if if uh, the CMEs um, are correlated, uh, yes, yes, of course. I mean, um, uh, of course they are uh, correlated, but the thing is that here you see always big price actions when, for example, the CMEs are closing or they're opening again, then you always see some big price actions. Uh, usually weekend actions I don't trust that much but uh, as you can see also here we had here this uh, big breakout from 10k also um, as soon as the CME started again so over the weekend uh, we started to pump but the real breakout happened right when the CME is opened here 
and uh, yeah they are very very important for the bitcoin uh, price and usually the chart of the cmes in my opinion is still more relevant than from the spot market and uh, that's why i always um, when there is like something important happened like with the uh, moving averages uh, or patterns are forming i give more significance here to the cmes than to the spot market because sometimes here it's more clearer especially when we have like um, uh, a big drop to the downside uh, and we are bottoming somewhere in an important moving average um, then most of the times on the cmes you can see that more uh, clearer uh, sometimes in the spot market it's not really clear for example uh, here also when was it i think once we topped out at 14,000, when we came down we had an initial support here of the 200 daily moving average here on the cmes that was in october 2019 i remember there were many times when um when you saw like this chart uh if i'm not sure i think it was also here here you see that we closed below the 200 daily here on the bitstamp chart and we had the 200 daily as a uh, resistance now then when the 20 daily came down we had even uh, then the 20 daily as a resistance so everyone was uh, screaming for a big big drop towards 3k again but if you went into the um here into the uh, CME chart you saw that only the 20 gave us resistance but we had support here from the 200 and we had a big bounce from it of course uh, at the end then we had here this big crash but uh, you see that here the CME chart uh, was telling you something different than uh, the spot um, uh, chart that's why I'm always keeping a very close eye over what the CMEs are doing right now. As soon as we are breaking here this red line, then I, I'm definitely more bullish. Then I think for sure 16K, maybe, maybe even higher, but for sure 16K uh, before any major correction towards 10K. But as I told you guys, it, at the end, it doesn't really matter if you're buying right now. Uh, or if we have a correction to 9k or 10k I mean that is not that big of a deal if you think uh, for the big picture in the long term uh, when Bitcoin is gonna create new all-time highs it really doesn't matter anymore um, if you bought now at 12k or 9k at the end it's gonna be more relevant if you're selling at 100k or 500k or even at 1 million then this is gonna be very relevant where you're going to take out some profits of course you cannot sell the top but uh, if you're selling at 100k or 200k that maybe makes a bit of a difference that's one Lambo more or less yeah what to say we have to wait we have to give it a, give it a bit more time so far looking here at the cmes it looks like that we're coming back down again towards 11700 to 12k again but uh, since we broke now 12k i think we will most likely create a support here above uh, at around 12k most likely and uh, of course i'm also keeping an eye very close here to my own indicator so Currently I have no sell signal but like this would be the range as soon as it flashes uh, uh, with a red dot that you should uh, start to not to, yeah if you want to short you can uh, short um, like we had over here very close to complete overbought condition go short and then take this uh, little trade down here but of course uh, during an uptrend if you're shorting just short it like as soon as the move happens then close it or use a stop loss because the price will for sure come back up again like we also have seen over here yeah as an s p index was quite good indicator after march now not so much but yeah that is true yes at the beginning my, i was also looking very much to the uh, s uh, p 500 especially the the mini futures um by the way they're also not looking too bad i mean we are testing here this uh, resistance up here and possibly will also break out to the upside in my opinion we are also over here very very close to a breakout to the upside if you ask me i mean this is also a clear ascending triangle here also in the lower time frames but let's see if we can also hold it if 
we're gonna break 3400 um, yeah before it was uh, very correlated now not anymore uh, it was actually more correlated to gold when we had the drop in gold and uh, silver I think then also Bitcoin had a crash um, but immediately recovered back up so it's re it's really weird at least we have some uh, some correlation sometimes to the S&P 500 sometimes to gold sometimes to none of them um, it's not yet clear and of course you can also not trade based on uh, that but I think if like for example gold or uh, maybe the S&P 500 is gonna take a big hit or a big big pump most likely also Bitcoin will uh, follow as well so you can see it as a good or a bad thing in my opinion a good thing it doesn't matter if negative or positive correlated everything is okay as long as we are not correlated here to the US dollar index as long as we are not correlated to any kind of currency like the US dollar then everything is alright we can even be correlated to Dogecoin everything is okay but not to the US dollar index because um, all currencies eventually will go to zero at the end so as long as we are not correlating here with this then everything is good uh, yeah, Bancor is also looking like it wants to move. There are different coins that uh, looks like they want to start to take off. And uh, yeah, Bancor I had, as you can see here, I had here this uh, potential descending triangle, which could also uh, potentially break down here. But so far it didn't happen. Also, we are right at the 20 daily moving average, RSI at the 50 level. We cooled off here a bit, so we could be in here for another leg to the upside and also if you look at some other altcoins as yeah as well maybe not at the moment uh, not performing as good as uh, bitcoin but probably they will there is, is always phases there is a phase for altcoins there is a phase for bitcoin um, it's hard always to switch from one coin to the other so that's why it's the best thing is just to diversify and sit on those coins till we're gonna um, end the up the uptrend I'm sorry the uptrend and in my opinion the uptrend will not be over uh, till 2022 earliest there will be a lot of pullbacks there will be a lot of minus 50% or whatever but at the end you're gonna be doing the best if you just uh, buy every dip buy every dip every bigger correction as soon as you hear someone saying to you ah i told you bitcoin is going to zero immediately load up your coinbase account load up your binance account and buy click on buy on everything and you will be doing fine because when everyone is shouting that it will go to zero it will do the opposite Right guys, I'm gonna wrap it up. It was a short update. It's now half an hour talking of uh, just that Bitcoin broke out. Yeah, so you see there are good and bad signs, but uh, at the end it really doesn't matter. It's just if you want to trade it with leverage or if you swing trading over on Binance, for example, with some altcoins. And uh, of course, if you still have some tether left, I also have still some tether left. I always have a bit of tether or fiat on the sideline just in case that there is an unexpected big fall that I immediately could buy some more uh, cheaper coins, especially Bitcoin. So thank you very much for everyone that came live and for everyone that is on YouTube, uh, make sure all the next time to join our uh, Twitch channel. you find all the links down below here. And um, yeah, for everyone that has Coinbase, don't forget, I still have a lot of uh, sp uh, slots free here to get some free EOS, free Orchid, free uh, Stellar, uh, all $10 worth of it. Uh, if you're using my invitation links for Coinbase uh, Earn, so you will get it within one or two days. You can claim them uh, completely for free. Only if you use uh, Coinbase, of course, you don't have to create a new account. This is... Uh, uh, with your with your account that you already have on coinbase you can uh, also log in here all right thank you very much my friends um, shout out to everyone also that is in discord shout out to you people you are the best and um, thank you very much for watching we're gonna see us all in the next one bye